Hello and welcome to that British homestead. Today I'm going to be looking around my home garden. Let's get started. I am continuing to succession plant these. Um, I've already shown you. I planted a whole load out and when I planted those out I came home with the empty trays and I've actually put the more um, different types of peas in there. So we've got the uh, purple ones, the yellow ones and green ones something is eating the leaves though what do you think it is i'm not 100 sure i hope it's not birds because they're going to destroy them at the allotment but you can see something is definitely maybe it's a snail i'm not sure but yeah most of them look fantastic though so these are probably going to go out next weekend i'm just going to give them a water in a minute because they're getting a little bit dry that's why they're here then i'll pop them out when I can. There, they're looking really healthy and strong, most of them. So these are going to stay here until they look about like that, that, and then I'm going to put them down the allotment. So we have the whole of July to um, do beans. So it's very exciting. I love beans. As of this patch, this whole lot here is strawberries, and I'm going to basically, uh, I'm going to move it probably to about there this year, fill this area up with strawberries like into about there um the rest is looking really great look at all of them sunflowers they never face my garden never 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 face the garden got some tomatoes and i've these are all volunteer tomatoes so i need to come in and trim those they're my dahlias that i found the um the root of so these are all found plants all of them sunflowers are volunteers but they're all cross breeds. they look great. I've got loads outside the front as well. Um, got some beans here growing up. I need to weld that back on. So I'm gonna be doing that probably this weekend. I've got the still, whoops, still kept this mysterious plant here. It looks like some form of um, squash. That's why I kept it. So, um, my hey, the ducks are behind me we've got the um lettuce here had a few um of those go to seeds so give them to the ducks um we've got the uh what are they called so yeah they're looking great what are you doing where is bailey My dry grass. Come on, go to bed. Come on, bed. Come on, let's go to bed. Come on. All ducks. Get to bed. All ducks. Get to bed. Come on, get to bed. Bedtime, it's fox o'clock. Come on, go to bed. Go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. Well done. Sleep well. Oh, look at egg. Oi, oi, oi. So, <laughs> I wanted to show you some of um, the bird measurements that we were able to achieve. So, we weighed all of the birds and the lovely jasmine. And the lovely Jasmine, um, she wrote it all down for me, as you can see, with fantastic handwriting. So the first chicken, it weighed in at 2,919 grams. Oh, sorry. Yeah, 2,901 grams, sorry. Um, the next chicken, it weighed in at 3,002 grams. And the next one was... 3,055 grams um, and the next one was 3,428 grams and 2,403 grams which is basically an average weight of just under three kilos each. Now we also uh, skinned a couple of birds and we got um, 2,000 and 980 grams of breast meat. We got 2,570 grams of legs 
and we got 2750 grams of miscellaneous sort of cut like bones and some more meat so it's not too bad at all we've just ordered our next lot of birds and they should be coming here in the next few days i think they're being sent here tomorrow uh they're being sorry i think they're being sent here tomorrow so um we're very excited about that and we're excited to have little baby chicks again for the summer because it's such lovely weather it'll be quicker for them to move down the allotment you're eating a piece of wood So money-wise, um, I think I bought three bags of feed, um, the adult feed, which was about £12 each. And then I bought a £20 bag of starter feed. So it does work out um, more expensive. does work more... <laughs> it does work out a little bit more expensive than the £3 chickens you get at the supermarket. But they were great. Um, we've started to eat our way through them and it'd be nice to have a few more. And I think the better that we get at it and the better we get at gauging the, uh, the better we get at gauging the, um, when we should be harvesting, the better it would be. Because I think the last two were just ridiculously massive. They were the size of turkeys. Um, so they should have been processed probably the week before that. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.